Well, hello, 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 everybody, and happy live stream. Um, I was nearly said happy Saturday to everyone, but it's actually Sunday today. This is going to throw me well off swapping the days for this and yeah thank you so so much for joining us on this weekend's live stream um so today's live stream is going to be the same yet slightly different um we're gonna have our usual chit chat a usual conversation our usual skincare gossip ask me any questions you want leave them all in the comment section below but we're also going to be answering questions on this which is the newly launched mad about skin peptide serum now, the reason I always do these live streams to coincide with um, the launch of any new product is I think that's kind of my way of making it as accessible as possible for you guys to kind of ask any questions that you might have, you know, have any of your comments, questions or anything um, answered and to just make it as easy as possible. I think with a lot of brands, they get um, slightly, I don't know, distant where you can't get an answer, you want to ask a question. Yeah, I filmed a video yesterday documenting um, everything to do with that peptide serum, but I'm sure you guys are going to have a million and one questions still on the back of it. So that's kind of the point of today's live stream. So welcome and thank you for joining me. Don't feel that you can only ask questions about that though. It's about anything you want. Just, you know, let me know and leave your comment. So um, before we get straight into things, and uh, I've got a lot to get through, I've got a cup of tea ready to go here, I thought we'll just quickly cover the housekeeping, so just a big um, thank you to everyone for joining, um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section, um, I go through the comments in the order they come in, so uh, just drop your comment and I'll get around to you as soon as possible, and um, we don't have a moderator on today's live stream, as Tom, who's usually our moderator and chief, is on holiday, sunning himself in the Caribbean, so big hello to Tom, who's probably sipping a pina colada for me right now <laughs> and enjoying it um so we're just going to work through things as you know we're just going to work through things um as we go um I'll, we'll start off with a few hellos and then we'll just delve into all of that stuff so starting off with hello to karen to sad girl love that name um aileen to tino great to see rain marion suzanne jay great to see you all uh pretty mo um great to have tom calling in from the caribbean amy <laughs> great to see you my love um hells jan patrick reve matt matt so many of you guys thank you so so much for joining i did notice in the comments as well that um scott big hello to scott over in california said um peptide launch party i think that's upgraded it a little bit scott i'm not gonna lie I think that might have upgraded things a little bit. <laughs> Let's call it a QA and a because I hate to overpromise and uh, disappoint when there's no party vibes. Um, but that did, did give me a little chuckle. So Kiki thinks off with Karen says, good morning. Congratulations on your serum. It sounds amazing. Would this replace the timeless coenzyme Q10 in my skincare lineup? Thank you, Karen. Welcome. Welcome. I should probably leave a link. Bear with. I'm going to leave a link. Um... Uh, I'm rubbish at this sort of thing. Um, I've left a link in the chat um, for where you can get the serum. I should have done that earlier, sorry. So yes, Karen, so it could um, swap out for your timeless coenzyme Q10 in that it's got antioxidants in the new peptide serum. So that is the replacement for the coenzyme Q10. It's packed full of matrixyl, which is the other reason why you would use the timeless coenzyme Q10. So yeah, absolutely, you could swap out the timeless for this one, and you'd actually be getting slightly more matrixyl, and you'd be getting um, a couple of different antioxidants. So yeah, that would make sense to kind of do the swap. Um, so yeah, thank you. I should say thank you before we start, before I start rabbiting on and getting carried away, I should just say thank you to each and every one of you that's already, you know, bought the product. It is beyond like my wildest dreams and expectations. Um, this is the biggest launch in terms of products that we've ever had. Um, and I wasn't expecting that. Um, I, I genuinely wasn't expecting that. Um, I know peptides are popular, but I didn't think they were that popular. So yeah, just thank you from the bottom of my heart to each and every one of you. We, yeah, love you all. Um, let's see if, before I get carried away and get all emotional, let's go into some other comments. So Ailey says, uh, Rob, what percentage of copper peptides is there in the copper amino isolate serum? And what is the percentage in the ordinary copper peptides? So great question. The ordinary copper peptide one is one percent i believe um i believe so um and the same carries across to the neod one so um let me see let's see um one percent yes so one percent in the ordinary it's the equivalent of 1.5 percent in the neod copper amino isolate serum so um yeah so as a comparison um there's three percent copper peptides in the mad about skin serum 
but they are slightly different in that they are encapsulated, so they're more of like a delayed release, which makes it super flexible, easy to slide into your skincare routine. You don't have to worry about what to use it against. The reason that the Ordinary and Neod say don't use their product with certain um, active ingredients is because it's not encapsulated. So you do have to be a little bit careful about what you use their product with. I went for encapsulation because I think it just makes it super easy for everyone. And I'm all about ease. I like my, I want my skincare routine to be fun. I don't want it to be stressful. <laughs> and anyway, Aileen, how are you, my love? Hope all is wonderful with you. Uh, Tyler said, ecstatic to receive my peptides. The second question about replacing Tandler's Q10, I need the fewest knockout actives as possible. Yes, I can confirm it can replace the Timeless Coenzyme Q10, which is a fabulous product. I am not slating the Timeless Coenzyme Q10, which is a wonderful, wonderful product. Um, one of my personal favorites, but yeah, you can absolutely swap it out. That would, yeah, that would work. Um, that would work just the same. So, um, and one of my favorite products, I know I've recommended that to a lot of you guys and you've absolutely loved it. It's such a good product. Rain, great to see my love. Hope all is amazing with you. Marion says, happy Saturday, Sunday, sorry. Uh, happy to be a newest launch. Thank you so, so much, Ryan. Thank you. This actually is just before we're doing a full rebranding. So the brand is going through an entire rebranding, which is, uh, yeah, I've got a little, I've got some samples here I'm going to share. Um, yeah, complete rebranding. Um, so I could have waited to release the peptide serum until the time of the rebranding. And I was tempted to do that, but then I thought, no, people have been waiting a while for it. I would just wanted to get it out there. Just wanted to get it out there and get it done. So it's not, um, so this comes before the rebranding. Um, the rate that everything is selling out at the moment, um, we are looking, just for the rebranding kind of thing, we're looking to close off the website, um, a switch to a holding page, which will actually have all the new branding and everything, which is quite exciting. Um, we're looking to do that on the 1st of May. So we're on track to have sold everything out, do that on the 1st of May, and then we're gonna work in the back behind the scenes to change all the website to the new branding and get everything finalized. So yeah, it's all happening. It's all happening very, very quickly. Um, in terms of the new branding, and we'll just give you a sneak peek. Um, I was with the branding team um, last week, last week, um, and we were talking about like die cutting board things for the outer packaging on the serums. Um, and I just wanted to, you won't be able to see these obviously because of the way uh, it works, but I thought I could show you some of the colors. And we've gone definitely bright <laughs> for some of the colors. Now these fold round, if you can imagine outer pa packaging. I want to just show you some of the colors there. Sneak peek, because I'm not sure what I'm actually allowed to show you. Um, but sneak peek, so you can see some of the colors and some of the vibrancy of what's going on there. And yeah. Very, very excited. That, I know that was a super sneak peek, but you know I can't keep anything from you guys. Uh, Suzanne says, hello, dearest Rob, much love to you all. Love to you, Suzanne. Hope all is amazing, amazing with you um, and the family. And that, yeah, you're feeling on top form again because I know you've not been 100% feeling amazing recently. So yeah, hopefully back on top form. And the new house is coming on um, amazingly well too. It's all go, <laughs> when I say all that, it's all go, isn't it? Um, so let's see, uh, Jay said, um, suggest any good serum for the extreme heat, which works well for acne marks. Acne marks and super lightweight, I really swear by the Ordinary Aloe. Um, their NAG and Aloe serum is great. Great for summer, great for when it's really warm, um, great for acne marks and scarring. It, it's just one of those holy grail products that I think is absolutely amazing. It works for everyone, I yeah, and it's affordable. So I would definitely recommend that, particularly if it's super warm wherever you are. Um, Pretty Mo says, I just ordered uh, the new peptide serum, can't wait till it comes. Thank you so, so, so much. I genuinely am um, like, I, I was surprised at the rate at which it flew out um, yesterday in the best possible way. Like I am so, so grateful to you guys. I'm so, so grateful. Um, it does mean there's a lot of work to do to get all these orders out tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is the grand day of everything. <laughs> no no rest until it's done um, is, there, is, you know, is tomorrow. So yeah, a lot of work, but in the best possible way. Uh, Tom says, hi everyone from a currently sunny and hot Cuba. Um, I have to say that the Matter About Skin sunscreen hasn't failed me yet. Have a great live stream. Thank you, Tom. Like you said, we were joking on message. Me and Tom were joking back and forth on the message. Um, because he did say, he was like, oh, I, um, he says, oh, I, I caught the sun on uh, a part of my body. It was like, but it wasn't the Mad About Skin sunscreen. It was the other brand I was using. And I was like, good, good. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> it was like the bits that I've used the Mad About Skin sunscreen, I'm good. I was like, there you go. There you go. I'd have been very offended if it let you down. <laughs> so glad to hear that it didn't. And that's probably a good segue into saying, um, if anyone is ordering the peptide serum, don't forget that um, 
the sunscreen and the retinal oil are still buy one get one free we're just clearing down that last stock ready for this rebrand so if you did want to get any of the sunscreens just remember to put two in your basket when you get to the checkout one will be free uh, if you put two in your, if you put four in your basket when you get to the checkout two will be free um, yeah you get the idea and that goes for the sunscreen and the retinal oil um then yeah they're both on buy one get one free so Definitely just throw that out in case anyone wants to stock up for summer. Amy, great to see you, my love. Hope all is amazing, amazing with you. And yeah, hope all is amazing with you. And Amy, I was actually, I checked your parcel for the peptide pre-order, which have all left the building now. Uh, everything's gone. I checked your location and it's cleared US customs. So it should be somewhere with you early in the week. And I can't, I can't wait to hear what you think of it and I can't wait to put see what you think about the uh, the freebie that I put in there as the first person that ever ordered the peptide serum um <laughs> I say that with tre in trepidation because you're either gonna absolutely love it or really not so I don't know <laughs> it was a curveball <laughs> um Jan says swapping in for Suzanne for a bit she's um showering our beanstalk right now we we love that we love that <laughs> we love that and yeah I love the idea of Damien Ruling the house. Ruling the house. Um, Hell's great to see, my love. Sending lots of love um, to, to Cyprus. I just read Jan's last comment after that. Sorry, Hell's. I wasn't giggling to you. My eyes glanced to Jan's comment below, which was be right back. Just got weed on by the kid. This is the, the perils of looking after young children. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Uh, Patrick, great to see you, my love. Hope all is amazing with you. And same for you, Reve. Hope all is amazing. Uh, Matt, Matt says, congratulations on the new peptide serum. Thank you, Matt. It, it's been a little... This one took a long time. Sometimes we go through, like... A formulation working with the lab who's always do the best formulations i absolutely love them but sometimes it just works and the first one they send me i give them basically how it works is i'll um i'll send them a product brief so i'll say this is what i want to create this is what i want it to look like this is what i want it to feel like in terms of texture these are the ingredients that i want in there these are the ingredients i don't want in there and i send them the big pro forma they then get to work and usually what they'll do is send me like a batch of you know, five products um, and five different ingredient lists that I can go through and choose. If I don't like any of them, I'll go back and say, yeah, none of these are cutting it. Can we have a little more of this, a little less of the other? And that's how it works. And sometimes it is just a slam dunk. Let me tell you the super serum, which I know has been out of stock for a while and is coming back with that rebranding. Um, that just happened on literally the first one I tried. I was like, yep, yeah, that's it, done don't need to think anymore that's the one and it was it this peptide serum took a long time this this, this was a year's worth of back and forth and it, not because they didn't do a good job because they did they did an amazing job i was just being a perfectionist and i just wanted everything to be perfect and we tweaked it and i think it's worth it i think it's worth to go through all of that to get there so yeah but a bit of a labor of love but one that i'm incredibly proud of which is kind of the main thing stephanie great to see you my love uh, it says happy sunday and congrats on a successful launch thank you stephanie thank you so so much Races, congratulations on the new business ventures and new serum thank you yeah it's an exciting it's a it's a mixture of an exciting time because we've got the new launch we've got the rebranding coming around the corner it's also an absolutely terrifying and frightening time because there's a lot of money going out <laughs> you know what i mean like you know when you look at your bank statement you're like oh my gosh um and there's a lot of like a huge amount of stock we've scaled up so much versus the first launch um and now and now it's kind of feeling a bit terrifying. We're in the terrifying stage, but in a in an excited way. Uh, Scott, great to see you, my love. Sending lots of love to California. Um, oh, I've lost where I am. Where, oh, here we are. Uh, Matthew says, hi, everyone. Hello, Rob. Hello. Hope all is amazing with you. Um, I have a quick question. Um, the rebrand is imminent, and I'm wondering, will the website also be included in the update? Oh, yes, Matthew. Let's Let's... I think we need a dose of realism in the world. As business owners, even if it's a small business like mine or a huge business, you have to be realistic. Let's be honest, that website needs a rebranding. <laughs> Like, like, really needs a rebranding. Um, uh, we we were laughing. The um the uh, br branding team that are gonna do, that have created all the product packaging, but they're also gonna do the website. We're saying at the website, um, they were laughing because they were like, you know what, you, you know your products are good that people are buying them, even with that bad website. I was like, thanks, 
there's a compliment in there somewhere. There's a compliment hidden in there somewhere. I think we have to be realistic. Like, that's what, at the time of the original launch, I could afford was within the skill set and was as good as I could do. Let's just be a, Um, I think a touch of professionalism wouldn't go amiss with that website. Um, And so, yes, the whole website will be revamped. Um, around the 1st of May, the website's going to go like just be a holding page but the holding page is going to have all the new branding and imagery on so it's worth looking even if it's a holding holding page it's worth looking out for but the sales will stop we're then going to work out uh, the exact date for the relaunch and then we're going to work in the background of the website here so, yeah very very exciting um rita great to see you, my love hope all is amazing with you uh suzanne said yeah the peanut is doing wonderfully his birthday is just around the corner i did suzanne don't even tell me about that i don't want to think that a year's passed already. Like, how? How? How is that a thing? <laughs> I know. I don't know how that's happened. <laughs> uh, Revy said, how does the matter about skin peptides compare to subcute skin? Um, yes. So, Revy, great question. I no, So, I'm not a great believer in copying brands. I think you should do your own thing, be in your own lane, and create your own thing. However... If Decium are going to take our favorite peptide series from us, the sub-Q skin, discontinued, disappeared like that. If they're going to do that, then I think it's fair game to try and mimic the texture and the feel of the product, which is what I went for. Now, it's I think the Mad About Skin Peptide Serum is a better formulation than the sub-Q skin because it's got a higher concentration of those copper peptides. It's got a better overall peptide blend. Um, so I think it's a step up in terms of performance, but the texture is identical. And I wanted that because so many of us have, you know, mourned the passing of our sub-Q skin um, and wanted something similar. I'd say this is the same texture, superior formulation, in my humble opinion putting it out there and um, Tom can attest to that because he is the number one fan of the Hylamide Sub-Q skin I sent him some of the samples out to try um, and was like it feels just like the Sub-Q I was like yes done that meant it was right that meant it was right uh Frista Burr, great to see you my love hope all is amazing amazing with you uh George said um Rob good evening so pumped to receive my order from you in the anticipated peptide serum wishing you a great live stream thank you so so much my love I know your order was out the door last week on its way to you so hopefully very 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 soon uh, I'm gonna take a quick sip of my tea because I feel like I'm gonna be doing a lot of talking and gotta keep the vo vocal cords going um if you haven't already if you could minimize the chat hop over to that like button give it a little caress and um then when you come back you won't lose your space in the chat it takes you back to where you are um, i know all content creators say don't forget to like and subscribe but it's because youtube measures your worth as a content creator based on the number of likes you get i don't think that's a good thing i think they should change that but until they do we have to play the game so thank you to everyone that does like the content now, i'm just gonna take a big sip of this tea mm. That is a good cup of tea. Um, Elaine says, I used Dermatica uh, Tretinoin, which is more like a serum. Do you think I should use the peptide serum before or after the trap? Oh, great question. So, first of all, perfectly fine to use it with the trap because of that encapsulation. And I would use it before. I think you're better using the Madarat Skin peptide before and then using your Dermatica. Um, really, it doesn't actually matter, but that's how I would do it if it was my skincare routine. So, yeah, I think it's going to have a slightly lighter weight texture the peptide serum so i think you should it should go first that would be my recommendation elaine but anyway so thank you so so much for your order and sending you so so much love um sweet tea great to see you my love hope all is wonderful in florida uh jan says hello lovelies first sunday night i've been able to join no work tomorrow and midnight here instead of the usual 1am i know these time changes are throwing me off completely but jan we it is wonderful to have you here my love and thank you so so much um do, enjoy your day off tomorrow which sounds bliss uh judge says i uh, have to drop out because of the health issues battle gonna watch later on oh i'm sending you lots and lots of love um and i hope you feel better soon my love hope so feel better soon um jan says congrats on the new serum can't wait to try it it is on its way jan on its way got like I, last week is gone the week before wherever it was gone anyway it's sent <laughs> it's on its way so hopefully early next week it should drop in thailand and yeah i can't wait to hear what you think of think of it um 
Sweet Tea says, if I'm in and out today, sorry, my Wi-Fi is a bit sketchy today. Don't worry, so is mine. It's clinging on for dear life right now, which is good. Um, let's just hope it continues to the bitter end. Because uh, <laughs> nobody likes it. No one likes a Wi-Fi dropout, do they? Um, Tino says, Pride Peptides. Um, what are your thoughts about Kojic sponges in a cleanse? They're soft, used several times a week. Just don't hear them talked about. So, I like them. I would say that... Um, Manual exfoliation, which a contract sponge would kind of come under that, is much maligned in the skincare community. Everyone hates manual exfoliation, says how bad it is for your skin and all this. It's not. It's absolutely fine. There are two forms of exfoliation. Chemical exfoliation, where you put an acid, albeit a watered-down acid like glycolic, on the skin to resurface. All this physical exfoliation, manual exfoliation, which is where you get something abrasive and literally a braid thing off. Now, if you're going for something, would I use like a pumice stone on the face? Absolutely not. Would I use something gentle like a contract sponge? Yes, I think it absolutely would. Um, I like I like an element of manual exfoliation. I like the rice enzyme scrubs. Um, Tatcha obviously do the really famous one, which is lovely to be fair. But I also like the Juno Co one, which is more affordable. Again, a great nice like powder that has just a touch of rice bran in. So you feel a little bit of exfoliation, but nothing intense. So yes, I'm a big fan of sponge sponges in general um but my top tips would be keep them clean because obviously if you i know this goes without saying keep it clean because mucky sponges are going to do you no good at all so keep it clean but yeah i do think an element of manual exfoliation is quite good um so look uh so uh, Sweet Tea says, hi fam, hi Susan, doing okay, um, just said little one's birthday's coming up, can't believe it, I know, Sweet Tea, how, how, how is he one already, it's uh, like mind blown, mind blown, <laughs> we'll have to have a party, better get my party hat out, um, Heather says, would you use an additional urea serum or cream with this, or is there enough urea between this and the got you covered super serum, to k- skip that step, ooh, great question, so, I would say, if you have sensitive skin, or, you know, Yes, there's enough urea going on here. You're fine. If you have very resilient hyper like resilient skin with a lot of hyperpigmentation, you could use more urea if you wanted. I would say the maximum amount of urea I would use is 15%. And whilst I don't think you can just add things together and get the percentage, if you think of like the Medivac Skin Combo as having like a 5% urea concentration, great for like everyday use. If you need to kick it up a bit, you could add in like a 10% urea. Um moisturizer or something on top of it to dial up i hopefully that makes sense uh sarah says whoop peptides party i really didn't get that party memo <laughs> i think i should have a, i should have a big gin and tonic or a big like gulp of something more exotic than my tea i didn't get the party memo i need to i need to think i need to do better <laughs> i need to do better steve great to see you thank you so so much for joining borneo says hi rob and uh, bello to everyone great work thank you sending you lots and lots of love uh, this is glowing for your debut well i've actually been out all day and I got in and was um like dashed to set everything up so this is a day's worth of unpowdered grease <laughs> which we're gonna call glow we're gonna call glow um I did actually get the um I got a Korean skincare haul um from yes style that came yesterday and I bought like a mattifying powder thing from I think it's from VT cosmetics that everyone's raving about online I'm looking forward to trying that just i don't want to be mad i like a glow but I maybe this time i could have done a quick powder before i came on anyway so i'm going to try that out um and i will let you guys know i've got a cat hair that is tickling just this section of my ear sorry about that um let's see uh, d- 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 uh marcella says do you use serum from mary and may with peptides i that came do you know what it's funny you say that that came in that um korean skincare haul that i just referenced um haven't tried it yet i'm gonna try it i always say to you guys i might have my own serums i might have my own products um, I use them day in, day out. They're like my go-to essentials. However, I do also use a lot of other brands' products, and I think it would be disingenuous of me, of a content creator, to be like, no, I only use my own products. I don't. I like to shop around. I like to look at different things as well. Um, and I'm also experimenting with a lot of different peptide serums. I'm going to start having a play around. Again, to see, so I give you the best recommendations. Um, I'm going to keep using the Madarat Skin one for my copper peptide fix. It's got the highest concentration of copper peptides on the market, so I don't really want to, you know, I don't want to miss out on that. But I might start looking at things like the Marion Bay one, and yeah, just giving it a go. Uh, let's see. Um, 
where we are. Uh, Jan says, uh, you're glowing to the gods, Robin. Must be that peptide serum. We'll call it that, Jan. We'll call it that. <laughs> Tita, Tita, you look amazing. Thank you so, so much. You're all too kind. Uh, Anita says, what is the research regarding copper peptides on hyperpigmentation and melasma? Does it help or can it make it worse? So the research out there shows it doesn't make it worse. Now, I always say with any ingredient, so this is worth bearing in mind. So with any skincare ingredient that you use, if you have a reaction to it or it sensitizes the skin, that can trigger a hyperpigmentation response. So that's from any ingredient. Copper peptides in a high concentration can be a little sensitizing on the skin. So in this, because using a high concentration, we've encapsulated it, which reduces that sensitivity. If it wasn't encapsulated, it probably wouldn't be sensitive skin friendly. The fact that it is encapsulated means it can be used by everyone. So a lot of people um, say that um, if they have a sensitivity reaction to copper peptides, that's a bad thing. It would be, but very few people actually have that reaction. Which is why pet any ingredient you should patch test thoroughly first. What I will say is research into um, benefiting hyperpigmentation. So copper peptides are an antioxidant. Antioxidants protect the skin from damage. That's great for preventing hyperpigmentation. They're also anti-inflammatory, which is great. Inflammation being the number one trigger of hyperpigmentation. So it's going to work in a number of ways to reduce you know, melasma, hyperpigmentation. But those studies also show that you just using copper peptides on their own isn't going to be enough. So don't use it as an addition to rather than instead of like your kojic acid, your vitamin C, your retinoids. That's what I would say. So what the studies show, a bet, uh, copper peptides are amazing for anti-aging. They're beneficial for hyperpigmentation, but you need to use them with something for hyperpigmentation, if that makes sense. Jill, great to see you, my love. Your order is on its way, so I can't wait to hear what you think of the new peptide. Thank you so, so much for joining. Sea shines, great to see you, my love. So, glad to accidentally catch the live today. Yeah, I know. It's weird, like doing it on a Sunday, is always a little bit of a weird yeah it's always a little bit of a weird kind of yeah a little bit of a weird um timing uh, Sandra said you look amazing thank you thank you Sandra that's very very kind of you to say um thank you <laughs> yeah just thank you so um for the texture of the I should talk about the matter if you've got any questions keep them firing keep coming um and for the texture if you see it, I'm going to let it run down the hand there. You can see it's got a nice, it's not quite as watery as like the ordinary Azure line, but it's not a thick serum. It's really nice and lightweight, which I love because in summer, and we're coming to summer here in the UK, we're supposed to have a heat wave this week. Don't know if it's going to happen. I don't want a lot of heavy product. I want something that's super light, just sinks in. And this does that. So definitely a fan of that texture um, and would recommend Keeping it light in summer, for sure. Um, so that's one of my favourite um, aspects of it. Um, you've obviously got the beautiful blue coloration. Um, so the reason, one of the reasons, interesting, is so people say, like, why isn't it a vivid, vivid, vivid blue if it's got, like, 3% copper peptides in? It's actually because of the encapsulation. So that would explain that. But it's got a nice hue to it, which I like, which is completely natural. I'm going to put that out there. We don't do dyes. We don't add dyes to our products. We like them to shine through. Anyone that's used the Mad About Skin um, serum will know it is like the most sunshine yellow around. And that is all natural again. Um, see, um, <laughs> Suzanne says, Peptide Party sounds pretty dope. I think, Suzanne, that might be the most middle class thing I think I've ever said. Peptide Party. It sounds great. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down for that. Uh, Rain said, me and mum love your vids, Rob. Happy for your successful launch. Thank you. Sending you and your mum so, so much love. Uh, Laganza says, can you recommend for me a day serum with azelaic acid? Um, yeah, Q&A, azelaic acid serum. Great during the day. Super lightweight. My absolute favourite. Um, if you can't get that, Naturium there, azelaic acid is also really lightweight, which I love. Uh, Steph does stuff says, I love that name. Says, congrats, Rob. It's uh, Azure Light, a new serum. How much? Love from Cali. Steph, yes, yes, and yes. There is um and the total concentration of peptides total concentration of peptides comes in at 20 percent zero line six percent um let's see uh caroline says thrilled for you okay so i have an evening oil and your moisturizer so when would i add this to my evening routine great question so caroline i would add it before the like cleanse 
put it on the skin, it'll sink straight in, and then you can go on with your routine as you normally would. So just use it straight after cleansing. Um, and I think that'll work, yeah, I think that'll work the best. Uh, Jan, oh, we've covered that question previously. You guys are on it, I love you. I love you, you guys always know the right questions to ask, to get to the bottom of a product, to know exactly what you're using, we love that. Frissenberg says, that's why Rob calls it Q&A and not a party. A party involves a macarena. <gasps> Frissenberg, it does. It also, it also um, involves a nice margarita. So if anyone wants to bring that, a couple of margaritas, I'll probably be doing the macarena. We'll be fine. <laughs> Sorry, I nearly inhaled that tea then. Not glamorous. Not glamorous. Marley, great to see you, my love. Hope all is amazing with you. Um, so, let's see. Um... <laughs> Jan, Jan says my kid might have accidentally just blocked one of y'all <laughs> whoopsie and my cat does that Marcel walks across the keyboard and who knows who gets blocked at that point <laughs> Marble says Neod Copper Peptides is great but the packaging is horrible product is waste and actually a ton of air no product space please don't recommend a hundred dollars for waste of products I've actually got great results with it I think the packaging could be improved not gonna lie I think the formulation is next level I think the packaging could be improved I think the price point has gone up a lot recently. I'm not a big fan of the price point anymore. But you know what? Yes, the packaging could be improved, but I'm not going to bash a good product. I've used it in the past. It's worked really, really well. It's not for everyone's budget, but the Neod Copper Peptide is a great product. I do think they can improve the packaging, though. We'll just put that out there. Um, so Nina says, new to watching you and just ordered the peptide serum yesterday. Thank you so, so much, Nina. That's really, really kind of you. And yeah, thank you very, very much. Uh, welcome to the channel. ADY says, uh, hi, in comparison with Neod Copper Peptides, would you say yours is higher in Copper Peptides? Yes. So there's two things to consider here. And you guys know, I'm always honest with you guys. Uh, we'll talk about everything. So yes, the percentage of Copper Peptides is higher in the Mad About Skin serum than it is in the Neod serum. So that's just fact percentages don't lie yes however the neod copper amino isolate serum also has some patented technology in there that does assist in those copper peptides getting to where they need to be a little bit more effectively so you have a little less wastage in terms of copper you know when you put you put copper peptides on the skin like you would any product most of it gets to where it needs to be some of it doesn't and that some of it doesn't is just kind of lost um so you can either increase the amount of percentage so you're accounting for any that might just get lost or you can employ some bespoke technology which in this case is patented to make sure that you kind of get all of those peptides a couple of peptides to where they need to be and that's what neo did and they did it really really well so i think overall using the matter about skin product you probably will still get more peptide copper peptides to where they need to be than with the neod one for sure because there's such a big difference in the percentage but it's not to diminish the neod copper peptides which are genuinely so good when it comes to that technology and just because i've got my own copper peptide serum i'm not going to sit here and bash another brand and be unfavorable about them because they are really good i've used them for years i think they're great and um, i think it depends on your price point you know 16 pounds 99 for the matter about skin one versus 50 pounds or whatever it is now for the neod one you know there's a huge price discrepancy but they do have specific high level technology in the neod one so it swings around roundabouts for sure uh suzanne says so excited for the sneak peek thank you suzanne i i think we've gone like full circle from white everything being white to full-on color and i'm living for it because it is that's how i envisage the brand being when i created it and yeah so that's made me very very happy uh, Millie uh, says, uh, Have a thank you for your advice, Rob. I recently went through the menopause and was a lost with my skin. All your tips made me feel like myself again. Thank you so, so much, Millie. That makes me so, so happy. Um, and yeah, that, no, we're here to help. We're here to help. And I think it's all about sharing tips. For me, it's all, I've been online. It's all about sharing hints, tips, hacks to help people. You know, it's not about, you know, anything other than just creating a community and i'm so so grateful to have you as part of it um julia says greetings rob from a sunny portland oregon sending lots of love to oregon we might be having a uk heat wave here next week so we might be joining you in the sun stakes um uh, gotran says any tips for hyperpigmentation yes good sunscreen with broad spectrum protection that's the first thing i would also then um, try and find something with either well either or together glutathione 
vitamin C, kojic acid. They're the top three that work so, so well. Uh, Jan says, Rob, what's your, um, your retinol oil is my favorite skincare item ever. It just feels so nice. Thank you, Jan. That's a, do you know what? That makes me really, really happy. And actually, what makes me really happy about that is you have a beard. And I know that's a weird thing to say, but it's really difficult with oils and with um, serums to get it right for people with facial hair because people either hate it because it gets stick, it gets stuck, it doesn't work. People hate it. And so when somebody that has facial hair says, oh, I love, I love your moisturizer, or I love your serum or whatever, I'm like, yes, yes. That comes with added gratification. And for those of you that don't know, Jan has the world's best beard ban on. Fact, that award's just been given out by me. The best beard ever. So <laughs> that does make me incredibly, incredibly happy. Um, see, uh, Amy says, well, Tom learned a sunscreen lesson now, didn't he? I know. I, all I would say, Amy, is I didn't tell him, you know, I didn't feel like when he was out there buying these other brands, I didn't say anything. I thought, you'll pay the price. No, I didn't. Um, I get it. When you go into the beach, you want like a big vat of sunscreen. Um, I totally get it. <laughs> so that's what he bought. But it didn't work quite as well as planned, apparently. But you know what I think? He's having an amazing time. And I think sometimes just forgetting to reapply or whatever, it's just the mark of having an amazing time. So it's all good. It's all good. Um, see where we are. Um, let's see. Uh, sorry, I've lost where I'm in the chat. Oh, here we are. Uh, Matt Matt says, I've been using the Olay Retinol eye cream for longer than a year, but would you suggest something different? Well, actually, I will say, whilst I'm not the biggest fan of Olay in general, I do actually think their Retinol eye cream is quite nice. It is, a, it is a nice product, um, and I think they've taken time to formulate it, and they've done it well. So I think of all the Olay products, that's probably one of my favourites. Um, doing something different. Well, my question always is, is it working for you? Are you getting what you want out of it? Because if you are happy with the results, why change? Why, like, don't, break, don't fix what ain't broken, is my view. Stick with it. If you've liked the results, but you think, uh, I want a little bit more, I want something else, I, maybe it's not doing quite enough, or, then I think that's a sign to try something different. You've been using it a year, Matt, so I would definitely say you've given it long enough. Like, a year is a good amount of time to let a product work. So if it's work delivering what you need, stay with it. If you want a bit more, I'd say maybe it's a time to switch. Would What would I think is an option? So retinol is great. Well, you've got a couple of things. So you can use that, continue to use the Olay retinol on an evening. Then on a morning, if you wanted a little extra, um, the Mary and May glutathione and tranexamic acid eye cream, I adore, absolutely adore. It's so good. And that'll really help with them. Um, dark circles and discoloration. So you could um, absolutely just add that in on a morning when you're using the Olay one on an evening. That would be a way of kind of switching up the results, getting a little bit more. And um, if you want to swap out completely, um, I honestly always recommend Retinal. I think it works better than Retinol. Um, the Geek and Gorgeous A Game 5 is great for a bit under the eye. You could probably use the 10, to be fair, but maybe start with the 5 and C because you don't want too much sensitivity. That would be a great option for retinol, which I do think works better than retinol, at least in my experience. Hopefully that helps. Um, so Rain says, I want to try the peptide and retinol oil. A lot sold out. Yes. Everything is coming back. Everything is coming back with the rebranding. I know everything's sold out at the moment. It's for, I have run out of my own products. Just to put that out there. You, you guys are not the only ones that are missing out. I've run out of my own products. Um, which I would love to see all of them come back now. Like literally now. I'm so impatient. Um, we do have to wait for the rebranding. But it is around the corner. And I always say to people like, it's coming really quick. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be this like, I don't know, uh, this close to like the launch and I'm very, very excited for it. So everything will be back in stock very soon. Uh, Yukiko says, I've just bought the Mary and May's serums, peptide um, one, but also interested in a new peptide serum. Can it be used along with um, adibinone and DMAE? Yes, yes it can. So actually I would always recommend using peptides and DMAE together. I think they work really, really well. You absolutely could use the Mad About Skin peptide with those, absolutely. And I'd say play around. See which ones you prefer, kind of have a play around with what works best for you and which ones you prefer in terms of texture. Uh, Catherine says, what is the expiry on the sunscreen? Bear with me. <laughs> Sorry, I should know that. Uh, let's have a look. Um, so 
the expiry date on the current batch of sunscreen, um, let's see, is August next year. So 18 months, which makes sense. It was a newish batch produced recently. So yeah, if anyone wanted to order the sunscreen, you have until August next year to use it. So 18 months. Um, obviously, once you open it, six months. So you've got 18 months. But once you open it, six months, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. Um, and don't forget, like, there is no limit. Um, you, obviously, buy what you're going to use. I hate waste. I hate waste, so I would never encourage. But you know what? If you wanted to stock up on the... Wait, how many units have we got left of the sunscreen? Really not that... Mm, not that many. If you wanted to stock up on it, like, if you put, say, put ten in your basket, when you check out, five will be free. There's no limit. But I would just say to everyone... Buy what you're actually going to use. I don't like waste. <laughs> but yes, August next year is your expiry date on the sunscreen. Um, if you didn't want to stock up. Um, let's see. Uh, Gabriella says, hello, happy Sunday. Congratulations on the launch of the peptide. Can't wait to try it. Thank you, Gabriella. We're sending you lots and lots of love. Um, oh, I've missed some comments here about a tattoo. Who's getting a tattoo? Sweet, let's have a look. Sweet Tea is getting a tattoo, I believe. I'd like to know why. I think I've missed that comment. What are we getting? I, <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> I'm very excited to hear that. Um, uh, Jan says, I mean, I rub it into the skin under the beard, but you know. Yeah, I, I know, Jan. I know. And I, like I say, beard of the year. Ban on. I might get that on a t-shirt for you. <laughs> um, Scott's the same. My stubble is much more supple with it. Yay. This is uh, this is what I like to hear. I, uh, you can formulate products the hardest thing is to, um, you know, to get it to work with people with facial hair. Stubble, full on beard, mustache, whatever's going on, it can wreak havoc with skincare. And so it's good to have that, like, um, yeah, it's good to have that. Uh, uh, Sugarless says, yeah, happy Eid to anyone celebrating. Oh, we just celebrated on Wednesday. Oh, well, yeah, happy Eid to everybody. Um, I did know, I, I, I actually, I knew it was Eid because... Um, the lab that we work with is based out of Turkey, um, obviously primarily a Muslim country, and they were all getting their um, getting their celebrations on. Sent me a beautiful box of dates um, as a celebration, which is so so kind. Um, and yeah, they they didn't last long. I ate them all, but they were absolutely delicious. So yeah, really really lovely, uh, and a lovely team. So yeah, happy. I'm going to say happy Eid. I don't know if that's correct terminology, but you. You know what I mean, you know, to anyone celebrating. And let me know what you guys are doing. If anyone is celebrating, let me know what you guys are doing. Uh, Patrick said, if there is anyone I would trust with peptides from... Oh, thank you, Patrick. You're a star. Thank you. Um, I am a bit of a pep... I am a bit of a peptide perfectionist, and I love peptides. So it was a little bit of a labour of love. I'm not going to lie. Um... Jan says, having used Tret and Differin, do you think there's a big difference in anti-aging? I decided to pick up a small tube of Differin. I'm loving it. You know what, Jan? I don't think there is. I've used both. I think, to me, Differin offers anti-acne benefits, which is someone that still has adult acne, is amazing. So definitely like those benefits. I find it's a lot less irritating than tretinoin, so that's a bonus. And I still got some great anti-aging benefits. So I really don't think... I don't, I, I don't see why people say if you're using Differin, it's some way it's not as good as Tret. I honestly think... It's, it's it's the same. I would say use different if you have an oilier skin type. Use Tret if you have a slightly drier skin type. I think that would be the main differential, but they both work so, so well. Um, So, uh, Pretty Mo says, um, when is the Got You Covered Serum coming back? That's my favourite. Hopefully, touch a wood in the next month to six weeks when the rebranding is all complete. Where's my little card? Let me get my card. And I can show you what the colours are going to be on it. Um... This one. So we're going. Uh, we're doing the rebranding. Um, it's going to be this one. So lots of color um, with the pinks and the yellows. We want to keep the yellow because that's the color of the product. And um, I, on camera, it's not translating. This is much more of a sunshiny yellow than it's translating on camera. Um, so yeah, hopefully week, a month to six weeks. I'm very excited. Very exciting. Uh, Fritz Bear said, "Oh, in terms of tattoos, a semicolon on the left wrist. We love that. Subtle." Classy. I like that. I like that. Uh, Nissa says, I have to take a sneak peek at the website on May the 1st. Yeah, I need to make sure it's all done for then. Very, very excited. Very excited. Mm. 
That T is great. That T is great. Once all this rebranding is done, I tell you what, I'm going to click go. And then I'm going to sit back with the world's biggest mug of tea. That's the plan. I'm living the life here, people. <laughs> um, so... Um, so uh, Shugler says, Rob, I'd like to see all the products on one page so we could just go down the websites instead of having multiple pages. We're going to, we st- we, I've actually got a meeting with them to talk about the layout. Um, I would like to have it, it's difficult with different styles of websites and design. I would want it to be as accessible as possible. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we're able to do. And this is a correct sort of peptide serum uh, and I'm willing every to come faster Yoda style. It will. Let's manifest. <laughs> um, so, oh yeah, good point. And Millie says, sub-Q is available at TK Maxx online. Yes, anyone that is not quite willing to give up on sub-Q just yet, you can get it at TK Maxx um, still. The one in Southampton, uh, well, it's Hedge End near Southampton. I went the other day and they, I, I snatched the last bottle. Just because whilst I've got my own peptide serum, there is a nostalgia to the sub-Q skin that I wasn't quite ready to give up on it just yet. Um, and yeah. I do love it. I genuinely do love it. Uh, let's see. Um, Deanna says, congrats, Rob. Can't wait to try it. I did the pre-order. I'm just waiting to, want to let you know. Thank you, my love. Thank you so, so much. Um, really, really appreciate it. Uh, Rain says, what ingredients are in the peptide serum? Um, we've got range. We've got multiple different peptides. Obviously, 20% concentration. Copper peptides as well. Um, uh, you've got glycerin, which is great. Humectant draws in and retains moisture in itself, um, which is great. You've got um, two antioxidants, uh, one of which is copper glucose which works really well with the copper peptides as a powerful antioxidant um and i've kept it pretty same you can see on the website you can see on the website what's in the ingredients list but i've kept it to a small ingredients list no filler just quality you know what i mean like i i I think sometimes brands wear it as a badge of honor when they have a product with 70 ingredients in the list that's not a good thing because the more ingredients the more there is to irritate the skin i think keep two core actives well formulated, no filler. And that's kind of what I've gone for with this one. Um, uh, just, um, so, uh, let's see. Uh, Laurie said, uh, I ordered your peptide serum yesterday. I've been using the Naturium one, but seemed to go through that one really fast. I was told by your last video where you said one pump was enough. I think genuinely on my skin, one pump is enough. I think if you've got a drier skin type, you're probably going to want to use maybe a pump and a half, maybe two pumps. Uh, for me one pump is enough and my skin just drinks it up and i put it on the back of the hand it just feels really soft <laughs> that's it it doesn't feel greasy or stack tacky which i personally love uh suzanne said and i'm back suzanne we have missed you we're glad you're back <laughs> uh kirsty says hi rob waiting impatiently for copper peptides here and can't wait to try it i can't wait kirsty and i can't wait to know what you think of it um so um, Suzanne says, Rob, I'm on day two of the moisturizer and massage tip and somehow I already see a difference. Is that even possible? No, genuinely, Suzanne, I saw it. So this is a tip I picked up offline, um, online, which if you use a rich moisturizer, something like ceramide base, the thick occlusive moisturizer, and you massage it into the areas where you have blackheads, sebaceous filaments, it disappears like that. They genuinely do. I find that sebaceous filaments, which are like the white, plugs in the skin they disappear first after like one or two days which is probably what you're seeing now Suzanne uh, the blackheads I found took about seven days to shift but I got there so yeah no you're not seeing things genuinely I'm the same as you Suzanne I started uh, uh, um uh, yeah I definitely saw the differences really early uh, Sweet Tea said we were talking about the tattoos and I love a tattoo if it means something I've never got I've never got a tattoo not for me but on other people, I love it when, like, it means something. And it sounds like, I know, because you're having, like, yeah. Um, yeah. I definitely think tattoos, when they mean something, are, are really nice. And I say to Sweet Tea, saying in a bit of a dark place previously. And this is it. And if it's something that helps mark a happier time in life, I think it's wonderful. And you and Fristenberg, two of my favourite people in the entire world, both amazing and fabulous, and I love you all both so much. Uh, Amy says, I tried the new Clarins Cryo Mask last night. Yes, I've been wanting to know about this, Amy. Yes, it gets really cold. My skin looked nice after. Pores look smaller, skin was plumpy. Okay, so to be fair, that sounds great. Do I want um, that amount of cold? 
I don't know. I don't know. I am tempted. I am tempted, Amy. I'm not going to lie. I am really tempted. So tempted. Do you reckon? Shall I do it? Uh, Marion says, hi, you should do a body serum. Oh, I do. Yes. I would love to do a body serum. What I tend to do, uh, oh, you've already said that. Yeah, basically, Marion, I do the same as you. I tend to use essences and toners on the body and then top off with a moisturizer. That's how I kind of created my own serum, for sure. Um, Hanson, I hope I pronounced that right, said, can you use new copper peptide serum before adapalene? Absolutely. Works beautifully with retinoids. So, yes. Absolutely, you can use it before um, adapalene or any other retinoid at all. It worked really, really well. Great question. Um, Sweet Tea said, Rob, do you think silk or satin pillowcases really make a difference on the skin? Oh, this one I've tried over time. Yes. Yes, but only for certain things. So the idea that you're going to buy a silk pillowcase and it's going to be cure all your issues is just not going to happen. What I think they can... So they could do a couple of things. First of all, you need to wash them the same way as other pillowcases because what people do is because silk and satin are really difficult to wash um people end up washing them less than they would a cotton pillowcase well that's worse for you wash your pillowcases people so i would say don't if you know that you're going to be a little lazy or you're not going to wash it or do the care instructions don't get a satin or silk pillowcase you are wasting your time because i would rather everyone use a immaculately clean cotton pillowcase than a been on too long silk pillowcase. So that's my first thing I would call out about it. Um, it does make a difference. So the way that cotton works is it whips moisture away from the body. So that's why wearing a cotton t-shirt in summer is great because it absorbs the perspiration so it, you don't feel sticky and sweaty and horrible. But that has the negative impact if it absorbs moisture from the skin. So if you're sleeping on a cotton pillowcase and you have dry skin, it could make it worse. If, like me, you've got oily skin, it's a godsend. It's fine. Um, so I would say a silk and satin pillowcase will help with skin hydration. It will help with um, just freshening everything up, plumping everything out. Less friction might help as well. So I would say mainly for hydration, yes, I think it works. Do I think it's going to be that cure-all that everyone seems to make out online? No. And I wouldn't overpay for it. Go for one that's within your budget and make sure that you're washing it. You know, I would take a clean cotton pillowcase over a mucky silk one any day. <laughs> any day at all. Um, Scott says, I think it's good to have a variety in your skincare routine. It keeps it interesting. Skin needs different things. I agree. I think variety in terms of textures, colours and brands. I am never going to be that person that could do seven toners in a routine. I just find it boring. I like different in textures. I like a little bit of a scrub. I like a moisturizer. I like a cream, a serum. I like to really mix it up. I also like to mix it up with brands. I mean, I would be lying to you guys if I said every day I just use my own skincare. No, I mean, there are some products like the sunscreen. I do pretty much now just use the Mad About Skin sunscreen, but that's because it works for me. But I mix up my cleansers all the time. Um, I'll mix up... <sighs> Life is too short, I think, to be too rigid. We should experiment. Um, BB, great to see you, my love. Thank you so, so much for joining. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, Marley says, hi, Rob. Um, have you seen they've changed the face theory as a layer acid serum from 15 to 10%? What are your thoughts? My understanding was that was only for the international market. Here in the UK, we can still get it at 15%. I think. I think. I might be wrong. Um... I need to I need to look into that. <laughs> I might be wrong. If they have, I'll be really cross. If it's only for the international market, I kind of get that because a lot of countries do limit the amount of azelaic acid to 10%. So it kind of makes sense from an international perspective. From the UK, I would be very angry. <laughs> just, just put it out there. Right, I'm going to take a big sip of this tea. Um, if you haven't already, if you could minimise the chat, hop over to that like button, give it a gentle caress, and then when you come back to the chat, it takes you back to where you were so you never miss out on anything. Um, we're at, oh, we're doing well. We're at 68 likes so far. So let's see if we can get it to 100 by the end of the live stream. We'll just take a big sip of this tea. Mm. That's fine. Um, let's see. Uh, well, this week, the draft meant to say earlier. So this, if you think I'm sat in a funny position and keep doing this, this week, you know, I had, oh, for those of you on the live stream four weeks ago, four weeks ago, I had um, a lesion, a mole removed. Um, went for my checkup. And they were like, yeah, that needs to go. Had it removed. Anyway, came back um, and needed some further treatment so it's all good so i went for that this week um and it'll all be good we're all good we're um yeah we're through all of that and we'll all be good let me tell you oh my gosh painful doesn't even come close to it like 
<laughs> yeah. And it's healed amazingly well. So we're all good. Had the dressing change and it's healed amazingly well. So it's all fine. But if you see me doing this, it just... If, yeah. <laughs> It's not good. It's not good. Um, luckily, it's, it is all good. Like, everything is good. And um, when I had it changed and checked, they said it was healing really well. It's, yeah, we are all good. I'm having the dressing and everything taken off permanently on Wednesday. Um, so it'll all be good. But, oh, let me tell you, like, I keep doing it. I'm padded. I have this, like, you probably saw when I went to get the... Um, sunscreen i'm wearing this padded jacket because it's padded because i'm terrified something will hit it and i've also got like a huge amount of like stomach like wrap round padding going on i look a hot mess absolute mess um but it's all worked out for the best so yeah if you do hear me see me do that it's not for dramatic effect it just really twinges sometimes uh my account says hi rob not sure if someone's already asked but would you recommend combining ahas and bhas with peptides not just copper peptides but peptides in general or do they interfere great question i am not that big a deal i don't think it's that big a deal i think you can absolutely use your peptides with exfoliating acids the one that i wouldn't are copper peptides copper peptides don't really do well in a low ph environment so i probably wouldn't if you reach for a serum that is encapsulated in terms of those copper peptides, like mine or the one by Naturium, there's quite a few out there now. If you go for an encapsulated copper peptide, you absolutely can use it with your BHAs and AHAs. No issue whatsoever. So I would say if it's not encapsulated, keep them apart. If your copper peptides are encapsulated, go for it. No problem at all. Um, let's see. Uh, Suzanne says, what a pretty colour. The light teal peptide looks perfect for this approaching summer weather. Suzanne, let us together manifest this summer weather. It's been promising it's going to happen in the UK. Not happening. It's not actually rained for a couple of days, which is a new record. It's rained all the time this year. So that's a start. <laughs> Bonnie says, hi, Rob. Very interesting live. Thank you. When will acetic acid serum be available on the shop, please? Um, hopefully in the next six weeks. Crossing my fingers, very, very much hopeful. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for it. I just know it's going to sell out. I just, I worry that I've under-ordered in terms of what we've got for the Super Serum because I know it's going to go mad when it launches. But hopefully, hopefully we'll have enough. Um, so Deanna says, can you anybody recommend a good all over body moisturizer or lotion? I'm getting slightly older, finding my skin needs a little more than usual regular ones. My top tip, Deanna, is get whichever, go to the drugstore and get a cheap one. Don't ever pay for your body moisturizers. Get a cheap one. Put a couple of drops of retinol oil into it. Doesn't have to be mine. There are other ones on the market. Retinol or retinol oil, but the oil is important. Put a couple of drops of that in and work it over. You'll notice such a difference and you don't need to spend more money on a moisturizer. Just a cheapo drugstore one is fine. Two pumps of uh, retinol or retinol oil. Work it in. Trust me, you'll notice such a difference. I'm doing it and I absolutely love it. BB says, um, so I'm on the hunt for a ceramide rich gel cream moisturizer. Oh, you don't want much, do you? <laughs> I would love to find that. So, wouldn't think it'd be so hard since my oily skin needs barrier support too. True, this is true. Us oily folk, I hear you, BB. Us oily folk, we also need that barrier support. Have you, if you can get the Face Facts ceramide gel, that might just hit every box, it might tick every box for you. Face Facts Ceramide Gel. Give it a try. I think that might be what you're looking for. Um, e Grigal says, Hi, appreciate your content so much. Going to Korea in a week, taking an empty suitcase. Oh, take an empty suitcase for me too. <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. I am so, so glad you're enjoying the content. Um, Amy says, I've tried many brands of silk pillowcases. Blissy is my favorite. Perfectly soft and cooling. Um, and they zip so the pillow doesn't slip out. Yes. First of all, Amy is a guru. She put me on to the uh, so many different skincare products over the years. Um, it was Amy and Jan that put me on to the Mary and May um, eye cream. Love it. Um, and just so follow Amy's advice. If you do get a silk pillowcase, get one with a zip because mine was honestly like I didn't think I moved around a lot in my sleep. But when I tried a silk pillowcase, I woke up and the pillow was other side of the room and I was just sleeping on this thin slip of um, silk. I don't know how it had escaped. So, yes, get a zip. And they are quite nice and cooling. I think silk is great for summer because it does keep things cool for sure. Um, Jill says, Rob, do you use the new serum morning and night? Yes, I do. You you don't need to. You could just use it evening. So basically just use it in the place of your existing copper peptide serum. That's fine. Um, I use it morning and night because it's encapsulated. You can use it with your vitamin C's and things on a morning. No problem. So I do use it morning and night. Yeah. Better results. Um, so um, Sweet Tea says, um, 
any recommendations for a good moisturizing soap and body oil? Um, AC is great, but it dries the skin. So true. So in terms of soap, so all soaps are going to be stripping to some degree because you're taking out, you know, they're designed to wash things off, including the oils. So any soap you use is going to be slightly drying, just slightly. Um, however, some are better than others. And one of my favorites is um, K-Secret do a calamine bar. Like a bar soap, really good. That one is lovely and hydrating. Um, I I would recommend that to everyone. So that's the one I've currently got in every bathroom of mine, and I use it. It's so so nice. In terms of body oils, um, I'll scour. Do you mind, sweet tea? Just putting this comment in the main comment section, and afterwards I'll have a look at some of my body oil collection, and I'll let you know which is my favourite. Deal. <laughs> Sugarless says I'm almost at my putis and telesera tree uh, to calm acne. So I'm almost done. What should I try next? Well, it depends. So if you're looking to calm acne, I would honestly keep it simple. Go for the ordinary, um, go for the ordinary aloe. I think that works really, really well to calm to fade hyperpigmentation. Would say though, um, I would say if the Centella one by Purito is working for you, stick with it. Buy another bottle, stick with it for sure. Um, see uh pretty mo says i also mix uh, your anti-aging oil with tret and it's been working amazingly for me rob thanks for making great skincare line yay i'm so glad it's working and thank you so 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 much uh, tina said should i use azelaic acid and tranexamic acid in the same routine yes just yes tina i'm not even going to read the rest of that comment just yes um actually i think we all get a little bit scared to use things with acid in the name together because our minds are like never use two acids together Tranexamic acid and azelaic acid are the exception to that. They actually work the best together. So I would say, Tina, yes, 100%. Use them morning and night together in your skincare routine. Uh, just works so, so well. Um, C, uh, D. Pishka, I hope I pronounced that right, it says, hello, something for aging eyes, dehydrated, crepey 37-year-old eyes. I love, 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 love the Mary and May tranexamic acid one. I know I mentioned it before in this chat. I love it definitely think it's going to help it's so rich it definitely will help with dehydrated under eyes are you going to make an eye cream oh yes so not to spoil or anything i did put the feelers out in the past two weeks um about a potential eye cream sort of this is what i'd like what are your thoughts this is to the lab you know kind of email so we'll watch all i'll say is watch this space let's just put it that way watch this space uh suzanne says deep down running out of uh, your own products is probably the best feeling bittersweet <laughs> yes <laughs> yes i don't know i go into like i think any brand like when you set up a brand when you set up your own brand whatever you're selling or whatever you're providing or so the dream is to sell out you know what I mean? Like, the dream is, like, something to be so popular, it sells out. But when it does sell out, it's really infuriating because you think, oh, miss sales. People are disappointed because they can't get their hand on the product. So being sold out of something is a bit of a double-edged sword. I I was thrilled when the product started to sell out, and then I got frustrated. And now I'm kind of at peace with it. And I think at the end of the day, they'll be back very, very soon, and it's good. But, yeah, I, it... I, it's bittersweet is how, yeah, is right. That's how I'd describe it. Um, uh, Sweet Tea said, sorry, I got excited because I saw Rob's tushy. Yeah, um, in these ill-fitting jeans, probably not doing, probably not doing myself any favours, just saying. These are my dog walking jeans. No one's supposed to see the bottom half. It's lucky I wasn't in my pyjamas, really. <laughs> um, so, um... So Amy says, the retinal oil just wonders for my facial hair too. I bloody love you, Amy. Just going to put it out there. Um, see, uh, Sweet Tea said, I've never eaten a day that wasn't baked into something. These had like pistachio stuffed into them and like honey and oh, oh, the best dates I have ever tried ever tried they were so good eloise great to see you my love hope all is amazing with you don't worry late but fashionably so my love we're just glad that you're here um so uh see oh i've lost where i'm in the chat let's see where i can find it uh bonio says hi rob very interesting live oh no we've covered that i think i'm going back um so um oh, i've definitely missed i have definitely missed out some comments because now i've just read that sweet tea said no nope, can't do moldy cheese 
<laughs> Without any context, I have nothing. I, I don't. <laughs> Whereas Tina is giving me all the cheese. Somewhere I've missed a chunk of cheese-based conversation. I love a good sheep cheese. I'm going to throw... I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I'm going to throw my own preference in. Good old sheep cheese. Uh, Gabrielle says, I'm celebrating my 38th birthday in three days. In 10 days, I'm flying to Europe to visit my family. Oh, have fun. Happy birthday for three days' time. Have lots and lots of fun. Um, so, um, yeah, I've definitely missed cheese chat somewhere here. Like, like, um, definitely missed some sort of cheese chat. Um, so, um, <laughs> BB says, Rob says this, but the AHC peptide has a million uh, amazing ingredients, pearl clutch. It does. The AHC peptide does have a load, a, a whole host of ingredients. Maybe too many ingredients, but it's packed full. So as long as you pass test thoroughly first, I think it's a great product. One of my favorites. Effie says, waiting for the rebranding, Rob. Lots of success and keep being innovative. Thank you. I'm sending you lots and lots of love over to Athens. Um, I see. Yeah, I definitely missed a lot of cheese conversation here. Definitely. I've got to, like, yeah, definitely missed um, cheese conversation here. Uh, <laughs> um, so Amy says, now I need butter cheese. I don't even know what that is. That sounds great. That sounds absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, so, uh, oh, Sweet Tea said, I hope we're not on about tattoos with this, Sweet Tea, because Ross says a puppy paw on one cheek and the Mad About Skin logo on the other. I don't think, I'm not a big fan of um, face tattoos. <laughs> not for me. You meant other cheeks, didn't you? Yeah. Just got that. Um, so, there <laughs> we I have nothing. I, I have nothing useful to add. I have nothing useful to add. Um, <laughs> sorry, that just tickled me. Sorry, that um, UK says, my biggest concerns are dark circles. Eye bags. J yep, me too. I hope the new serum will be effective on eye issues. Yeah, I definitely think massaging. So you need lymphatic drainage massage onto the inner uh, corner of the eye. Definitely, definitely helps. But yeah, peptides will definitely help with revitalizing the under eye. Um, Eloise says, have a tattoo of my previous cat and all others have meanings for my daughter's friends. That's really nice. I, li I, I, I like a tattoo with meaning. I've seen these people that go into tattoo pals and put like a pound in this thing and get like a little egg and they're, oh, that's the tattoo I'm going to have. I'm like, no, do better people. That's not, that's not how you would choose one. Uh, <laughs> one with meaning, definitely. Amy says, yes, do the Clarins cryo mask. For sure. Uh, I'm still giggling about that. Sorry. K Beauty with Mama Mavja. I love that name. Says, uh, I wash in 60 degrees even though it's silk. Good call. Keep our pillows clean. Let that be a lesson. Um, so, um, see. Uh, Rain says, L'Oreal Revised Live good for eye bags. Um, is the Medivac Skin Copper Serum under the eyes? Yes, absolutely. You can use it under the eyes and work really, really well. Um, so <laughs> I can't read out any of your comments. I'll start giggling again. Uh, Zoe says, Replay Squad, send you big love. Love you, Zoe. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, but yeah, Louis says, Yes to washing pillowcases, especially if you have oily skin. Yes, let this be our motto wash your pillowcases, people. Um, so, um, Mali says, Hi, Rob, you mentioned that a pad better for azelaic, uh, for acne prone skin than pure azelaic acid. True, is it better for hyperpigmentation and is it less prickly? So, it's the same for hyperpigmentation, whichever form you go for. Um, it is less prickly though. So if you have a lot of sensitivity when you use azelaic acid, switching to the derivative form definitely will help with that. A lot less prickly, um, better for people with acne causing, um, acne prone skin because it reduces the acne causing bacteria. But I'd say APAD or traditional azelaic acid work the same for hyperpigmentation. Um, so uh, let's see. Um, Sweet Tea says, Tom isn't here, so I have to be extra good today. Or less good, because there's no one. I'm always so behind with the comments. Uh, <laughs> International language dance. We love you. It says, looking well, Rob. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hope all is amazing, amazing with you. Um, um, Reve says, what's been the most challenging part of the Mad About Skin rebrand? Um, oh, great question. We love, we love that question. Um, most challenging part, I think, moderating my own impatience. Um, I want it all done now but I also want it done right. And so if I want it done right, I have to have patience and not 
have it now. Do you know what I mean? So I would have launched it all in March if I had my way, but the brand team were like, no. Why launch something that's half finished? Do it properly. I, I know that's the right way, but my brain's saying, go for it, go for it, go, you know? So I think being realistic with timeframes has been the hardest thing. Uh, money, yeah, I'll be totally honest with you guys. Money. <laughs> <laughs> the cupboard is bare. <laughs> the, the cupboard is literally bare. Um, because, of course, you have to pay all this up from, you know. And when you're scaling up, it it's huge. So you go from ordering in quantities of 2,000 to ordering in quantities of 20,000 per product. You know, it's huge. It's a huge upscaling thing, which you get the economies of scale, which is great for business and for margins. But it's not good for the pocket. You know what I mean? Um I, you know, I've been, I paid out things that are like, I paid out a bill the other day that was so much, it was over my business banking limit and I had to make it in two payments over two days. That is terrifying. I've never come across that before. So I'd say that has been really difficult. And that's not to say, look, I'm in a great and fortunate place that I had the funds to be able to do this. It's just now it's getting to the very last bit. Uh, bills are coming in. I'm like, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> we will be absolutely fine but it is that i think is the thing that's most challenging and you know what you look if it was plain sailing it wouldn't be life would it so you've got to keep you know you've got to keep going with these things but yeah i'd say those are the two impatience and managing cash flow those are the two most challenging things but it'd be totally worth it in the end hopefully international language says oh excited to hear you have a copy of peptide thank you so so much and um, yeah you, Bit of, uh, we got sidetracked on this live, didn't we? Talking about everything, which I love. That's the best sort of live stream. But yeah, um, the copper peptide. If anyone wants to try it, it's available. We have, um, I, I don't, well, I don't want to say limited stock because I don't ever, I never planned on doing anything in limited edition because I hate that when brands do that. But um, it sold a lot better than I was anticipating. Um, and so until the rebrand comes around, We'll see. We should have enough to last, hopefully. Um, see, IB says, I don't know if you mentioned, what part of England do you live in? Well, I live in Southampton, so I live in Hampshire, which is in southern England. But I'm originally from, and my heart kind of belongs to um, Yorkshire. I'm Leeds born. So I'm a Yorkshire lad, but I live in Hampshire now. So yeah, between my heart's still in Yorkshire. Uh, Steph Duster says, Rob, do you, um, have you looked into using red light therapy on skin issues you're having? Anytime I have a scrape or a bruise, throw my red light mask on, it helps heal so much faster. I have actually got a red light mask. I'm just too lazy to use it. This reminds me, I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to do it tonight. Um, so, yes, thank you for the reminder. I'm going to do it tonight. Because you're right, it does work. I'm just going to be consistent with it, and that's my problem. Um, Eloise said, had a torrential drown pot yesterday in uh, North UK. Luckily, it was just finished the washing in, but the rabbits got drenched that they're stupid till I bribe them with treats. I know. The chicken does the same. Just sits there. It's getting wet. I have to like coax her in. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. Give my love to your bunnies though, my love. Um, Friston Burke says, got to go watch the rest of the replay. We love you, Friston Burke. Thank you so, so much for joining. We love you. Um, I says, do you ever use face wipes? Yes. And nobody can judge me. Nobody gets to judge me. I'm sorry, no. There is so much judgment about face wipes. Um, nobody gets to judge me. Um, just going to put that out there. Um, <laughs> the reason, I don't know why there's so much judgment around the use of face wipes. There just is. Um, and it's ridiculous because it doesn't need to be. Um, do I think they're the most effective cleanse? Absolutely not. You know what? Using a proper cleansing balm, using a proper gel cleanser is going to give you a far better cleanse than um, anyone will like, than any wipe will. But there are times when, you know, face wipes just work. If you're at festival, not that I go to festivals, but if you're at a festival, face wipes. If you're camping, face wipes. If you, you know, you maybe I've done a load of swatches and I just want something to quickly wipe it off face wipes. Um, I have no issue with face wipes. Um, I just think we need to set our expectations. They're not going to cleanse your skin as effectively as a proper cleanser. So, you know, do I use them on an evening? As my, No. Do I use them on a morning sometimes to freshen things up? Yes. So face wipes are fine. Just be mindful that they're not going to be as effective as a proper cleanse. And be mindful that they are wasteful. So I use the biodegradable ones so I can put them in the compost and the bi biodegrade or whatever. Um, but just be mindful, there's a lot of waste in them. So use in moderation would be my advice. 
Um, uh, Suzanne says, spill the tea, Rob. Eye cream. Yes, please. I don't have any tea spill. I've given my initial thoughts of what I want in there. Um, and I'm going to get wait to hear back whether any of it's possible. Hopefully, hopefully it is. Um, but I want something that's quite thick and rich. But I also want it um, to be compatible with a number of different issues. So fading, fine lines and wrinkles. I want to minimize, um, I want to minimize uh, dark circles. You know it's going to have a zero line in there. That goes without saying. We're going to have some ceramides in there. I want it to be like a treat for the eye is kind of how I want to see it. Um, Alicia said, um, I, oh my God, managed to catch a live. Yay, we're so glad to have you, my love. Hope all is amazing, amazing with you. Um... So, uh, yeah, Eloise says, make sure you keep some of the old style products and packaging for historic value. Yeah, I have, I've kept, I kept one of everything. Um, just because, yeah, I actually rinsed the products out because I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep these. Obviously the products don't last forever, but I want to show the journey that I've come on for sure, for sure. Um, Let's see. Um, Steph says, a friend of mine is getting whiteheads after long days wearing makeup. Yeah, any suggestions for Brent in these? She's already using anti-acne ingredient, uh, but I'm thinking maybe she needs she needs barrier cream. Barrier cream would definitely help. Um, I think, obviously, using a really good cleanser. So often, you know, when a whitehead appears over the day, we blame what we had on our skin that day. It's actually probably already started the night before. So a really good thorough cleanse so really work in that cleansing balm like for a good 10 minutes keep working it in rinse it off thoroughly that's going to be your best bet for your friend to minimize the whiteheads going forward um obviously your retinoids are going to be really important um but a barrier cream would help as well but yeah i think a really effective cleanser night before is going to be like the best uh youtube music said bought a few of sub q is it still okay to use can't see expiry date yes i would say it's fine have a sniff it should be fine. Um, if in doubt, check with Desium. They should be able to tell you from the batch number what the expiry date is. That's, uh, yeah, always good. Um, let's see. Um, where am I at? Um, so, um, oh, I've lost where I am. Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> I've just seen Scott's comment. You, you people crack me up. You crack me up so so much. You lot are amazing, uh, amazing. Right, I, I am going to read that out just because why not? I'm going to take a sip of this tea, which is now cold. If you haven't already, um, if you could minimise the chat, hop over to that live button, give it a gentle caress. We have 14 more likes to get to 100 before we close the live stream. I reckon we can do it. So if you haven't already liked, give me a hand, give it a like. <laughs> Scott said, M A S. Mass. I get that. I like that. I like your branding, Scott. Might steal that. Uh, <laughs> if he said, Rob's upper cheeks and blushing. It took me a really, like, it, it took me a really awkward amount of time to realize that. <laughs> And I was in too deep. I couldn't backtrack. Uh, Tina said, It isn't a live stream if sweet tea doesn't make Rob blush. No, but I think this was a genuine, like, this was the blushiest blush that I've ever had. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, that's still giggling to this day. Leon says, any chance uh, Madarat Skin will also be making a mineral sunscreen without a white cast? We've paused the mineral sunscreen. I always like to be open and transparent with you guys. We've paused the mineral sunscreen production. Um, what is the point of creating a product that isn't at least as good, if not better than everything else that's on the market? There isn't. I don't particularly like mineral sunscreens because I think it's so hard to get them to do right without a thick, gloopy white cast. And I've tried so hard with this. There are some good mineral sunscreens on the market and I'm going to do an updated video sharing my favorite mineral sunscreens. So watch out for that. So I'm not writing off mineral sunscreens because I know that some people prefer them. Some people it works better for them. So I'm not writing off mineral sunscreens at all. I just don't think as a brand we're in a position to do it as well or better than what's already there at the top end of the market. And I don't want to put out a product that isn't, in my view, amazing. And that's why. So we paused the production of um, the mineral sunscreen. It's also really difficult because outside of the US, so in the US, mineral sunscreens account for about 30% of 
uh, between 30 and 50 percent of sunscreen sales so they're huge in the us the rest of the world mineral sunscreens just aren't a thing here in the uk they account for a less than two percent of um sunscreen sales in europe it's around that um in the european union it's around that same time mineral sunscreens just aren't there's just not the market for them um which also makes it really difficult as a small business would i love to come up with a mineral sunscreen absolutely because i want to be you know as inclusive as possible and make sure everyone has something that they can use um just not the right time at the moment but who says i'm not saying no uh see what the future holds um for sure um suzanne says robbie doing an amazing job we're all going to support where we can stay positive thank you oh i'm feeling very positive terrified but positive I think that's the best I can hope for. But thank you so, so much. Uh, since I, was, I hope your little chicken is doing well. Um, mm, I don't know. I don't know. She's 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 lonely so she's on her own she's lonely um i you know i sit out with her as much as possible but i can't be there 24 hours a day they're social animals and they don't like being on their own um it's just unfortunately because of a medical condition she's got we can't integrate her into another flock otherwise i'd find a home for her where she could be with another flock um can't because she um she's got a, a underlying virus thing that's always present and can't be can be passed on so she's not allowed to join other flocks which is absolutely fine we wouldn't do that anyway um so she's kind of on on her own and it's a bit sad it's a bit sad but we're doing a best buyer we ain't giving up we're not giving up but she, yeah like poor little thing poor little thing but we're doing the best we can she's living the best life she can all things considered um sweet tea says rob when you move all moved will you get more chickens yes so this is i should have said this in the process of moving this is the last live stream in this room. I ever realised that. That's kind of weird. I don't want to jinx it, touch wood, because these things will fall through. Um, and I'm kind of half moved anyway. Um, half moved. It's a work in progress. But yeah. Um, yeah, this is the last live stream in this room, which is kind of weird. We've had... Do you know what? That is really weird. I had, I had a bit of a teary nostalgia moment there. Like, uh, yeah. So it all started here. Um, and yeah, on that sofa, in the corner... During lockdown, we had Face Mask Fridays. If you were there for Face Mask Friday, they were tragic. Uh, <laughs> they were so tragic. It was so, so tragic. Uh, back in the day, yeah, if, let me know if you remember those Face Mask Fridays. It was pre-recorded. So I got you guys to ask me questions and I, um, I answered, yeah, like I answered the questions, but in a pre-recorded video. It was really weird, but did it in a way where I pretended I was talking to the people that were actually on the screen, but they weren't, they were sent in before. So weird. I did it all with a face mask on, looking a bit Freddy Krueger. Oh, it was so weird. Face mask Fridays. Nobody needed them in their life. Um, but that's where it started. In the corner on that very sofa um, was where it all began. And then graduated. We, we ditched the face mask. We decided to actually do it live and do it on the table, which is here. Um, but yeah, this is the... Um, this is the last live stream in this room. Feels very weird to be saying that. Very, very weird to be saying that. However, good things because the new setup is amazing. It's going to let me do so much more. I've got an entire filming room, which is going to be perfectly set up for everything I need. The live stream is going to be, the internet is going to be better. The live streams are all going to be from that space. I'm going to have plenty of space for like product to show. We're going to do some TikTok lives and stuff as well. Obviously keeping the YouTube lives, but we can do it over more platforms because the setup will be there. Oh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be so, so good. But um, it is definitely like a bit nostalgic. Yeah, looking around, a bit nostalgic. Um, and I will be getting new chickens, but obviously want to settle in first for sure. E, e Grigas, so funny about the silk pillowcase uh, across the room. Yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, Susie says, hi, Rob. Uh, I'm Leo, it's Susie's son, and we're both listening to you. My mum loves you so much, and she's always washing our pillowcases. Thank you, Leo. Like, lovely, lovely to electronically meet you. <laughs> and to you and your mum, sending you lots and lots of love. Thank you so much for joining. And yes, wash our pillowcases. I, and I'm not, I'm preaching from a, when I was a student. Looking back, part of my student acne might have been, I didn't go to laundry often enough with my pillowcases. <laughs> I do now, every other day. I'm now obsessed, but it wasn't always the case. Pinia, great to see you, my love. So I just came here to congratulate you on your launch. I'll be ordering ASAP. Thank you so, so much. I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, 
So, um, where are we? Oh, I've lost where I'm in the chat. I'm going to find it. Uh, Lynn Leeds. Hopefully that means you're from Leeds, Lynn. In which case, sending lots of love to Leeds. The best place in the entire world. Uh, it says your skin glows beautifully. Thank you. That's really kind. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Leon says, thanks for being honest about mineral sunscreens. Probably as I can't wear chemical sunscreens during pregnancy. Fair And this is it. I would never be... There are lots of people out there who, for various reasons, use mineral sunscreens. And I think there should be good quality mineral sunscreens on the market. Um, and until I can produce one that's as good or better than what's out there, I don't want to put out a less than amazing product. In terms of the mineral sunscreens, the um, Dr. Vanita Rattan unzinkable one is phenomenal. Always out of stock. Always out of stock. But it's phenomenal. Um, so if you can get it, worth it. Um, that would probably be my like favourite of all the mineral sunscreens. But I'm going to explore the market more and there will be a video coming. Don't worry. Uh, Rain says, how is your dog? Waiting at the door? I'm going to guess. Shall we... Let, let me just answer t the rest of these comments and then we'll... We'll have some dog action. I'm, I know we're waiting outside that dog. I can guarantee it. Uh, it says, says, poor little chicken. At least she's got you to take care of her. Yeah, she's a little superstar. She's my little friend. Uh, and I go out and sit and have a cup of tea and she clucks around me. And, yeah, it's, it's sad, but it's also like, it, you just got to do your best, haven't you, with them? Um, so Amy says, last live stream in this room. I know. And Suzanne says, last live here. Woo, another congratulations. Yeah, it feels like celebratory, but... Also a bit odd. <laughs> um, Ulo Wassin, I hope I pronounced that, saying hello. Uh, Jules, great to see you. <laughs> Looking like Freddy. Oh, Jules, if you saw some of those, it was not good. I was using the L'Oreal three masks in a tub thing back in the day. Oh, they were terrible. They sucked every last bit of moisture out of your skin. Um, Eloise says, face wipes are great for chronic illnesses and disabilities. Yes. This is another thing. All those people out there that say, you know, these content creators that do that fake... <gasps> every time someone uses a face mask, um, a face wipe, like it's the worst thing in the world. They kind of forget that some people either have, you know, chronic illness, disabilities that mean that's the best for them, or people might just have busy lives. You know, you're running out the door to take the kids to school and you don't have time to, you know, to... <sighs> kind of, uh, yeah, I'm a great believer in judgment-free skincare. Just as long as no one's buying Dr. Barbara Sturm skincare and paying £250 for hyaluronic acid serum, then I won't judge you. If you do that, there will be judgment. <laughs> Everyone else, <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Um, so Suzanne says, this is wild. A new chapter right around the corner. I'm so glad we get to be part of it. Thank you, Suzanne. Yeah, it's very exciting. I do think perhaps doing an entire brand relaunch and rebranding at the same time as moving house at the same time as I, I could have planned this a bit better but you know these times it'll all work out in the end it'll all work out for sure um so uh sweet tea says wow this is this is wild change is constant uh but i'm excited for the new place thank you and i'm, I'm hopefully you'll enjoy it and yeah this new room it's i i don't know the people will see what the new place is like hopefully it's good uh rain says where's tom tom is currently in cuba possibly drinking a pina colada definitely enjoying some sun do not feel sorry for tom he's living his best life <laughs> Uh, the internet isn't great there. Otherwise, he said he'd try and join, but I don't think um, I don't think he'd be able to. Uh, Jan says, "When will your next live stream be?" Right. Well, I can tell you that, Jan. Let me just get my calendar. Um, so officially moving, moving, moving on the first of uh, May, which is uh, so. The next live stream is due to be uh, on the twenty seventh of April. I won't be doing that. I'll be two days before I move. <laughs> Anyone that's ever moved will know not to expect a live stream on that date. So the next one won't be happening. But I'll do the one the one after, which is the 4th. So the 4th of May um, in the new place with the new setup. There might be a few boxes around. You'll have to forgive me. But we'll do it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so, yeah, the next live stream will be on the 4th of May. Um, so uh, uh, <laughs> Amy's just taking a pic of this room right now. <laughs> I'll post for you. Uh, <laughs> um, that's, that was the worst pose ever as well. Can we just appreciate that? Um, see, uh, do you recommend LED face masks? I thought it's bad for me because I get hyperpigmentation. Um, actually, they're supposed to be good for hyperpigmentation, but I would always say if you are, um, if you are in any way like a little bit sure about them, seek a professional face-to-face -face consultation for sure. Um, see uh where we are. af says can someone post the link again yeah i've just posted it for you my love thank you so so much um 
So, um, <laughs> BB says that BS, Dr. BS, Hilo Serum popped upon my Amazon last night. Outrageous. I know. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, Sweet Tea says, I want to check out the Skin Rocks new stuff. Yeah. Um, that's the Caroline Hiron skincare, isn't it? The Skin Rock stuff. I do want to try that. Uh, Scott said, the new Dr. BS avocado eye patches. Patches. Not serum. Patches. Only $125. I'll take four. <laughs> Like, actually, like people just mash an avocado up and slap it on your eye. It's fine. Um, <laughs> it's actually funny now. I I feel sorry. For, no, I don't feel sorry. Anyone that's got money to that money to spend on that stuff, uh, they should spend it better. Uh, <laughs> um, so uh, da, 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 let's see. Uh, <laughs> so oh, um, house tour. I can do a house tour. Yes, I can do a house tour. That that would be quite cool. I'll do a house tour. Uh, and certainly like a skincare room tour. That'd be very exciting. Um, I see. Uh, moves are hectic. We're going through this too. Oh, rain. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Um, Amy says Stark Wars day. May the May the fourth be with you, Amy. I just got that. That that's good. I'm going to use that. Uh, <laughs> Jan says I put it in my diary. Thank you, Jan. Um, so, um, from Rain says favorite character Darth Maul. I'm such a child. I love you guys so so much. Right. I got to the end of the comments. I did well. A Adrian says yes to a house tour. House tour coming up. It's got the most amazing shoe rack. This house. The people that lived in it before, literally are the most immaculately clean people I've ever known in my entire life. And as you walk in the door, there's obviously there's like a hall, like an entrance hall, and there's a cupboard, and you open it, and it's just an entire shoe rack that falls down. I don't know. I've only got like four pairs of shoes. I might have to buy more shoes. Anyway, um, right? Should we do? Should we see Lorne? We've got one more like. If we can get one more like to get to a hundred, Lorne will make an appearance. Deal. I bet he's behind the door. We know he's behind the door. Oh, fancy seeing you here. You might, dog, want to get a life and get a hobby. Instead of just loitering outside people's doors, get a hobby. Yes. You've got a hobby, you say. Loitering. Yes, I know. I know. Yes. Um, we, we, um... We, we, we've, we've fallen out a few times this week, haven't we, Lorne? Because I remember recovering from where the stitches are is exactly the location that a certain someone likes to lay his head. Not gone down well. We've hit the roof a few times, haven't we, Lorne? <laughs> like, literally, I'm, I'm there, like, napping, and he'll jump on there, like, ah! <laughs> I think we're friends now, though, aren't we? We're friends again. Yes, we are. We are. So, yes. And someone's... So, yes, if we say to... If we say to Lorne, um... He is currently... You're going to go stay with mum, aren't you? Yes, he's going to go stay with his granny, my mum. Yes, thank you. Um, For two weeks while I move, aren't you? Because I don't think dogs and house moves work very well. He will be in his element because my niece and nephew will be there um, to entertain him and play with him all the time. Uh, he absolutely adores my mum. You're obsessed, aren't you? Yes. So, yeah, you're going going up to Leeds to spend two weeks um, while we move because I don't think, I don't think we need... Um, I don't think we need puppy getting in. We're not pup anymore, are you? Getting in the way because your special skill getting in the way, right? <laughs> right. I think uh, Amy says two weeks without him. Oh, Amy, he won't even miss me. He's got his favorite people in the whole world, which is my mom and my niece. They're like, <sighs> he's obsessed with my niece, aren't you? Yes, but I will miss you. I'll miss you. And then you're gonna come back to your new house. Yeah, you're gonna. Go. Oh, funny thing is though, um. Mum did a total mum move. Like, nothing gets past her. Total mum move. She, um, I drove up to Leeds, drop him off. It's like a four-hour drive. Um, I drive up to Leeds, drop him off, see the family, then I'll drive back down. Um, and then I'll go up and collect him when the move's happened. And my mum went, oh, no, Robert. With everything at the moment, you're so stressed with the relaunch and with everything. No, we can't do that. We'll bring him back, save you the journey. So I said, oh, thanks. That's, no, that's really kind, Mum. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Put the phone down and I was like, I've just been played. She just wants to come and visit the house because they already said, like, don't come and visit for, like, a month. Let me get settled first. I was played. 
So now she's invited herself down with the dog <laughs> to return him, pretending she's doing me a favour when really she just wants to be nosy and look around the new house. So yeah, that was a complete mom move. And I've been played. Uh, <laughs> so it's all, <laughs> it's all good. Um, so uh, BB said he's going to come back a chonker from grandma's. <laughs> to be fair, no. Because my dad is like clean freak and is takes him for a walk like five or six times a day to make sure he does his business outside, not in the house. He's never done his business in the house. He's completely house trained, always has been. But my dad's like, I'll take him on another walk in case he needs to do a wee. So he goes on about five walks a day, which he's not complaining. Um, but he comes back, like, he comes back very spelt. Um, so Jan said, I'm stuck in bed with my three street dogs. I don't know how I managed to get from the yard to my house and my bedroom and into my bed. <laughs> Jan, give them a big, big cuddle from me. That's so, so amazing that you've taken them into your life and into your house. It was such a big love. Um, Amy says, well played, mom. Yeah, I think any moms out there will appreciate it. It was a complete mom move. Like, yeah. Uh, Suzanne said mum gets to chill at your place like the queen she says oh yeah that was the other comment so Ted said we'll bring you back down and I was like great and then I thought I've been played she's had me great and then she texts a day later saying just checking you will you will have um, you will have the spare bed set up if not your dad can always do it oh you're staying over are you oh great oh lovely stopping over now so the spare bed which is on order and hasn't even arrived yet is gonna be she's the one sleeping it first and then and she was like don't worry dad will put it up great <laughs> so this was like a complete I, I yeah she she knows how to work it she knows how to work it um right <laughs> jan says yeah mums are clever yeah, she knows. She knows. Right. Uh, thank you so, so much for all being part of today's live stream. Thank you so much for your support with the launch of the peptide serum, which honestly, you guys are amazing. I appreciate each and every one of you so 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 much and yeah just thank you for your love kindness and support hope you have an absolutely amazing amazing rest of your sunday and a great start to the week and i will see you guys in three weeks time when we've actually moved like everything's moved and different setup anyway um <laughs> suzanne says yeah mum's starting to jacuzzi's off as well she will no she'll be Literally should be in there. Should be in there. I never wanted a house with a hot tub. It comes with the house. Never wanted one. Um, I would never go out and buy one. Not my thing. Um, and I said to my mum, like, oh, it's got a hot tub. I don't like them. I don't like them. Uh, and mum was like, oh, no, neither do I. She's like, but you'll be in it on day one, won't you? I was like, oh, totally right. <laughs> I have my Prosecco in it. Yeah, I would never buy one myself. But if it comes with the house, I'm getting my Prosecco out. Done. So, <laughs> so yeah, you know she would be taking full advantage of that. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to send you all so, so much love and the world's biggest hug. Love you all. Bye.